Hi you guys, it's Asha Marke here, Lemon Creation, and today I wanted to talk to you about mini books, mini art journal books or zine. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably seen already reels and uh, and my posts about those two books I created recently, they are different ones. They are the same size, but they are different ones. One is a zine book, which means that it's uh, kind of the pages are uh, glued together. Well, not really glued. They are attached together. I didn't cut them. And you can work on it by just, uh, you know, uh, turning the pages. You can also open the book. I'm having a small issue here with the acrylic I use. I think I have to treat it with some kind of a with some kind of a fixative because I didn't. And you can actually work on the flat surface. Apparently this is upside down. I'm only learning. And also what I thought I'm gonna do after creating this side, which is the side which is now visible, the only one, I'm actually gonna do some kind of a hidden side and this is gonna be the the one here which is completely different coloring and I'm thinking I'll see which one is gonna win at the end which one is gonna be much nicer so this one is the real Zine book and as you can see I'm having small problems oh okay it's supposed to go like that I created this one on the mixed media paper mixed media paper it's actually around 200, I think 180 grams, so it's quite a thick paper. On top of that, I add uh, a lot of acrylics. So that's why I have the small imperfection here, uh, the pages which are not completely aligned, because you have to be super precise when you, uh, when you fold them. The best is to use scoring board and this kind of bone knife, or I'm not sure how is it called. But even though I use that, I didn't use scoring board though, uh, I'm having these small issues which can be due to the, uh, a little, you know, buff. either uh, not the proper folding or maybe the paper size, which is not perfect, I'm not sure. I still love it. You know, for me, uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not crafting perfectly, but I think that the imperfection gives you you know, this something which is yours and uh, which very often looks much nicer, you know, when you have uh, some imperfect things, then everything is totally perfect and you just start to compare yourself to the people who are doing perfect art and you think this is not possible and I'm not going to do anything. Don't do it. You know, art doesn't have to be perfect as long as it comes from you, from your heart. That's it. That's the most important thing. Ah, this is my beautiful candle, which you cannot see. Um, cold today. It's raining and it's not a very nice weather and I'm actually cold. I put the candles in the house to warm myself a little. And this is the second book. I have small pieces of paper I'm gonna be using in this book. And as you can see, there are pages which are separate. So this is basically, you know, separate book, completely separate book. You can, of course, make a sort of art uh, butter butterfly uh, journal with it by just putting maybe elastic uh, along the spine you know to keep it in one place or what I do and what I love to do is just I'm taking the <laughs> the beautiful beautiful clip from 49 and market I am so in love with it and if I just manage to grab it correctly I'm just leaving it like that I don't know, I love it. It's not a perfect book. Once again, the pages are sticking out because even though they are the same size, of course, if you just pile them up at the end, the ones which are in the middle, they are gonna be, of course, a little bit longer than the ones at the front. You can use the um, knife, you know, and you can cut it, this special craft knife, uh, or you can just leave it like that, why not? And what I'm thinking, maybe I'll do it in this video, is that instead of putting elastic this way to hold the pages together, I'm gonna put elastic here like that. So I'm sure the pages will not fall out, which is not gonna be the case in this one, in case of this one, in case of Zinebook. For those of you 
let's put them away here and for those of you who didn't or who don't follow me on instagram and if you want to do it i will be very happy and the link you can find it in the description box below i'm gonna show you very quickly on the scrap piece of paper how to make a zine and how out of zine i made this book and i have to tell you this is uh, actually two zine put together so there is more pages of course are you okay my baby yes good Okay, guys, I have plenty of papers, which are actually scrap papers. It doesn't really matter which scrap paper I'm going to use. Uh, let's say I'm going to use this one. And uh, yes, I'm going to fold it here. Let me just make it a little bit wider for you to see better. And today there is no school. So my son is at home and I let him play. Uh, like that he can be with me otherwise when there is a school day he doesn't play uh, I mean on the computer <laughs> so basically what you do you fold the book uh, I've noticed I've noticed not I've noticed I watch one the tutorial and the uh, um, uh, man who is explaining it if I find the link uh, to it I'm gonna give you the link in the description box below again but um, I watch few of them and he is explaining the best I think he is making a hamburger out of the page <laughs> which means he folds it like that then he opens and he fancy a hot dog and so basically he is explaining the whole book like that and then he changes his mind and he again fancy hamburger but a smaller one or something like that I'm not sure anymore I think I lost it at this point but you basically fold it you know to the middle and once again you turn you fold it to the middle and this is why probably the scoring board would be so useful and you have to do it really well uh, in case of uh, bigger thicker paper I think you need to leave kind of a space here I'm not sure I'm not doing it correctly or I can see already this is just a printing paper, so it's like 80 grams. So I should put them like close to each other, but uh, as you can see, <laughs> I don't care that much. So the man I was talking uh, to you about who made this hamburger uh, hot dog thing, he is called, or his channel is called The Oregonian, like from Oregon. And uh, so basically, yes, that's what you do. You fold it like that, like that, and then to the middle, and then you leave it like a hamburger wise <laughs> and then you cut here you know this fold until the middle line just to the middle exactly like that then you open it you fold it into the hot dog thing and what you need to do is you need to make those two sides kiss hmm? voila while applying a little bit of pressure along the sides and here we go you have your zine okay guys forgive me it's really very unperfect this one but as i said it's a scrap paper i just wanted to show you very quickly but a little bit slower than i did it on the instagrams and what i've done in case of this book i actually just cut everything you know I just took my scissors and here when you see that the things, the sides are not cut, I just use my scissors and by eye, with eye boiling, just simply I cut it. Uh, probably if you use the uh, craft uh, mat and the craft knife, you're gonna get a better result. And then after cutting the sides, I also cut the sides. Not like that, I put a little bit of more effort into that because right, that, right now I'm just showing you but like that i got my book you can of course do it by you know measuring a piece of paper you know you can measure cut the paper uh, pages fold them but i think this is not a bad way to do it especially if your paper is not very thick so this is how you do uh, this zine book i don't know why ah i know why is it called zine if i remember correct correctly it's because it's uh the first books which uh happen like that they were um made from the magazine pages and i think that's the end you know magazine zine book or zine book and what i wanted to do today is uh, 
I work a little bit in this one, but I'm thinking I'm gonna work a little bit in this one. This one still has no title. What I've done here with the first page, I use Maremi Small Art um, tissue on a paper or rice paper, and I made a small transfer to Madre. And I added some spots, like some uh, drops, small circles with the still one of the favorite Uniball Signal um, white pigment ink. This is just a normal pen, but it works uh, quite nice, of course, if your mediums are dry. I've done already one page. I will try to actually, I hope. Uh, I'm gonna show you anyway. I hope I'm gonna post it before I post this video so you can see it. If not, well, you have a preview. This one was very easy to make. So, my dear friends, what I do is I take a piece of old books, the oldest the better, and my uh, Unipin fine, uh, fine liner, and then I just draw. So I'm gonna put this aside and let's concentrate on the hearts. And I am thinking um, if I'm gonna use my own stamps or if I'm gonna use something else. No, I'm gonna actually use this one. Theo! <laughs> Sawa? Guys, sometimes I really need your opinion before I post. Okay, let's go for this one. Because uh, not sure if you can see, you cannot see. Okay, you can see now. Because this one has this part, you know, which is a little bit similar to these uh, traces I made with the white acrylic. So that's why I'm gonna use this one. Of course, um, in the description box below, you're gonna get a link to my uh, shop. And I'll be so happy if you had a look and make an order. <laughs> that would be so nice. Okay, let's go. Because here I have them on the bottom, then I'm gonna put them on the top. Or I'm gonna put the stamp on the top. I should remove this one so I can have it. Oh, of course, it's gonna be loop sided because it's very rarely when I do something straight, which is very annoying. Hello, guys. Okay, it's not the same. You can agree with me, it's not entirely the same, the color. But it's not a big deal because what I'm gonna do right now, snowflake acrylic, one of the best. Got a little bit of acrylic all over me. I spoke with Marta, not uh, Marta Łapkowska, not that long ago, and she told me that she never gets dirty. I don't know how she does that. I know some of you don't get dirty or so. I am just the opposite. And the only thing which is uh, actually uh, annoying me in all of that is that I actually get dirty and later, you know, I have dirty hands because some of the paints are not coming off very easily. But otherwise, when I'm crafting, it doesn't bother me that much. But afterwards, yes, it does. I like to be uh, proper. Okay, super. And I still have paint left, so... Let's open randomly and make a little bit more splatter. I've noticed splatter can be so much different depending on the uh, paintbrush you use, depending on the way you actually tap or hit the paintbrush of the water you use, of the medium you use, medium paint or a, or a spray or whatever. While I do that, I'm gonna show you another technique learned from Didicatron. When you dry your acrylics, especially when they are on the already made background, like a gesso background, you don't dry them until the very end. So look at these ones here. They are still watery. I hope you can see those two dots. And when you use a piece of tissue and just dab it delicately, look what you've got. You've got. You don't get the drop like this one here you know, completely filled by paint. You just get the edges. I'm not sure that those are not the edges, the borders, while the middle stays clear. And I love it also. This is a very nice technique. Very funny thing to do. Here in this case, uh, in the case of these splatters, you cannot see that 
too much because simply there is not that much splatter and it's on a very colorful page but try to do it uh, like a black splatter on the white page amazing i'm telling you and i was thinking i'm gonna add a little bit of borders and now maybe i'll do something different i used talking about dedicatron i'm using one of her stamp viva las vegas it's uh, this one is unmounted i have a glue dot here to mount it to the um, acrylic block take my glue because this one is actually dry already and this is a temporary glue which is holding very well and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna separate the pages ah this one is actually not dry because i didn't dry this one so let's see if i can do the trick with the dots here can you see that guys it's really nice i find it really really nice kind of like oxidize effect like you would use uh, your uh, distress oxides also and let's go and add a little bit of this stamp this is kind of funky stamp also with numbers no with well numbers and uh, alphabet so it's kind of uh, up my alley let's put it like that a little bit from the middle I align the block with the middle of the book ah that's so cool and what are we gonna do with the other one i'm not sure if i'm gonna the best would be to add it a little bit here which means that i don't need this part which means that now my small book i made will come handy because i can cover this part and I can just place this one here like that, doing my little bit of masking of my washing machine finished. Theo, can you go and do the washing for me, Dudu? No. <laughs> I don't know if you hear that, guys, but he said straight away no. And let's add a little bit here. Okay. I love it. I really do. It's funky that way. I love things funky. And let's use a little bit of my uni signal. It's hard to write with this pen when there is a lot of texture. But still is one of the best white pens ever. But as you can see there are some moments when the pen doesn't really work. There is too much paint maybe I don't know for sure the paint is dry because it's been few days since I made this book but look straight away how much brightness and like happiness it brings just a small border like that a white border it just looks so cool and as always because I love my grunge I don't really care that much that the lines are not perfect that's also that's why I am not a card making person from time to time I like to make a card but it's not that I'm s sloppy. Sloppy it's a good word. I don't. I am not. I am quite a clean person. I like the things to be done properly. But I found that in art I like to be just relaxed. And creating this way, you know, with mistakes, with things which doesn't work, it's the way for me to unwind, to find my... Uh, my good middle my good thing like you know I don't know how to explain it but this is my thing I love it this is the way I like to create uh, it's just you know I don't I don't it's there is so many things in life you have to think about you have to take care of you have to make them uh, correct and you know uh, make them work perfectly and take care of it so everything works like in the clockwork and uh, art is not that for me art for me is breathing is just being uh, being happy and being very intuitive and very just going with the flow but I have to tell you since I started doing videos uh, and being on social media even though I so so appreciate you uh, all your, uh, you know, like uh, virtual friendship and all of that. 
this is not why I started art and I didn't know why starting it that it's gonna amount to that also that right now to you know uh, you have to kind of do it I mean you can always do it for yourself at home of course why not but I wanted to make a business out of it uh, that's why I opened my shop with my designs because uh, I haven't worked since uh, my daughter was born I met my husband and when we got married and I got pregnant we moved to Paris, uh, to Paris, no, to France. I didn't speak French at all. I came here, I could say a few words. No, not a good place, not a good place only. And I had a small child. I was happy because I could spend uh, my time with children when they were young. I decided to open my business and this is my only uh, source of income and my only thing. The thing is that uh, since I started doing videos, I lost a lot of this joy of creating just for me because, you know, you had to be kind of careful. Is my candle visible? Am I not off the camera? Is my desk not like that? <laughs> uh, well, are my fingers clean? On top of that, I don't have nice, nice nails, so this is also for me a, a thing which I really don't like. So a lot of things like that you have to take uh, into account when you are making videos and it uh, actually there was a period when it actually gave me a headache like I couldn't all the good pages I made they were pages made out of the videos like for myself and I told I'm gonna stop but you've been so supporting you've been so nice to me uh, that you know I started to do a little bit more then I started drawing a little rather doodling than drawing then I open my shop and here we are and I have to tell you that still making videos it's a quite a big thing for me but I'm here I'm not really complaining uh, I know that for you all a lot of you you know the place I am right now you are dreaming about being in this place to be honest I am still asking myself every now and then am I gonna manage I'm looking for something to add to the page. So this is my box. I got it. I got the idea from Natalie or Lasher. She's doing beautiful uh, art, uh, a little grungy also. Uh, so I love it very much. So you can check her uh, Instagram account. And she is having a box like that of things. And I have, you know, my small words, which normally are in the book, but I have them, you know, the ones which I cut I put them in the box like that because you know they are uh, they are in the book and uh, when I cut them and when I have like a small I would put them in the box like that so I'm sorry my voice is going away when I'm moving my son is so cool he's playing and he's not speaking at all so cool <laughs> and so I'm gonna use this piece of paper this is the piece um, I got from some old book I'm gonna make it a tiny bit smaller and I decided to use the text from the book because it will match uh, it will match of course the hearts okay and the text says you are not loving and it's kind of not a good thing for the page with the hearts but where am I gonna put it this is always a this is always a head headache for me <laughs> where to put the wordings but guys let's go here I'm gonna put it like that for you and let's cross it out you are loving and now I think everything matches perfectly I'll also add the X's here since they are X's here maybe, maybe one here and I think this page is finished. This is very weird video for me also because I'm talking while I'm working. And that can happen only on Wednesday when there is only my son at home. And so let's make another page. Which one, which one? So this is supposed to be a movie about two pages, but because it's quite long, I decided to cut it into two parts. Next part is coming very soon. So please join me uh, in my next video. For now, I'm sending you big hugs. Thank you for being here and listening to me going on and on and on about all aspects of my creative process. 
And uh, as always, wish you a super uh, day and see you soon.